This program was paid for by Water of Life Church. From Water of Life Ministries in Plano, Texas, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob is speaking through his servants to the world. He that hath ears to hear, let him hear what the Spirit of the Lord is saying today. Let us join Doyle Davidson and others of Water of Life, sowing the Word of God in spirit and in truth. Hello, I'm Lord Davidson, servant and apostle of the Lord Jesus Christ, ministering locally to the body of Christ in Dallas and Fort Worth, Texas, and sent by God to your house to declare to you the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank God. First Corinthians 15, 3 and 4, tell us what the gospel is, how that Jesus died by our sins, according to scripture, he was buried, he rose again the third day, according to the scripture. Thank God. Thank God. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because he's anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor, send me to heal the broken hearted, preach deliverance to the captives, recover a sight to the blind, set at liberty them that are bruised. Thank God. Amen. The word is not even in your heart, in your mouth, is the word of faith, which I preach. You'll confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God hath raised him from the dead. You shall be saved with the heart man believeth unto righteousness and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. Thank God. Amen. Thank God. I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. There's the power of God unto salvation. Everybody believe it. To the Jew first and also to the Greek. Therein is the righteousness of God revealed from faith to faith as it is written, the just shall live by his faith. Thank God. I want to welcome everyone wherever you're located, receiving this broadcast, shortwave, thank God, live stream, Roku, or other devices. Welcome. Paul Peters is on the set with me, my co-host. Good morning, Paul. Good morning. And how are you? I'm doing very well. Good. I think you got a song you want to do, right? Right. Why don't we do that? All right. We'll do that, and we'll see what God wants me to say. This young man can minister with power and faith, doing amazing grace. Paul Peters. How sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now am found. Was blind, but now I see. Twas grace that taught. Oh, 
is good to me his word my hope secures he will my shield and portion be as long as life in Saved a wretch like me I once was lost But now am found Was blind But now I see Was lost But now am found was blind, but now I see. I've been following God holy, Jehovah, the Lord Jesus Christ, holy, 45 years plus. Never pulled back, never turned left, never turned right. Never listen to any man because God told me not to in a vision in January 1971. Amazing what God said to me. Read about it on my website. I followed him wholly. I had to. He kept me in line. Put an angel before me to lead me, guide me, bring me to the place for his purpose, where he wanted me. Amazing. In 1980, I went into ministry, actually public ministry. 81, radio. 82, pardon me. Yeah, 83, started Water Black Christian Training School. 84 television, thank God. 85, Zimbabwe, amazing. 86, New Adventure, trying to faith. 87, it got stronger. 88, 89, amazing. 90, books to preachers, read about them. 91, 92, went national. International, television, satellite, short wave. Amazing how God led me. One trial after another. One persecution after another. It grew worse and worse. Much worse. Thank God. More rebellion I faced among people who walk with me. Incredible. Thank God. Amen. In the 09, 2000, well, let's just say this. Thank God. Amen. Thank God. Thank God. What are we going to say? 2000. 
it got tougher. It got worse. 2001, 2002, 2003, 4, 5, 6, 7, different, 8, very tough. About witchcraft one day for more than seven hours. And when I got through, well, I got so weak, I couldn't set up, was lying down in the blue chairs in the fellowship hall. People were after me. Their tongues set on fire for mail. They wanted to destroy me. They wanted me off the television. They wanted me out of this building. They wanted me dead. That was rather frightening to think people wanted me dead. But I kept pushing. And then nine, it got worse. 2010, it increased. 2011, increased. 2012, back on radio. 2013, Revelation of Daniel, chapter 11, verse 20 through 28. Amazing. 13, it grew heavier and heavier. Then comes 14. 2014 was an amazing year. Sin of God's people almost overpowered. It was not reasonable what was going on with me. I knew I was in a distressed state all the time. Persecuted. Pain. Severe pain. Weakness. Trembling. That started really in 10. It got worse by the hour. Maybe by the minute. I don't know. There were times I thought, how am I going to make it? I don't know how. I can do this. God sustained Intercessory prayer changed somewhat. It was amazing to me the fight day and night. There was no rest anytime. No letdown. That was troublesome. I thought it died. I could not make it. But don't consider that. You know, you can do all things through Christ which strengthens you. I pushed on. I continued to push on. Then there was a tongue and that, that I interpreted that got me in trouble. That's explained. But I was in trouble when that happened. Severe trouble. February the 8th, I put KD on radio. That offended more than one person. Like, what she done on radio? Well, God put her there, that's what. And I was the one that led it. The pressure got much greater. She, Katie had her days. They were hard. I'd say, this is God. You got to keep it up. 
But then, the sin of God's people against me was incredible. I felt like I couldn't look right or left. I couldn't do anything that would relieve the pressure. Then, June, I had some reasonable relief. But on the 28th of June, I hit the pinnacle of problems. My legs, welts, edema, bubbles, whole legs, affected, but I prayed through that. Took me a week. I prayed through it. I knew exactly where it came from before I got through it. It's just been one thing after another. In March, I let a spirit push me to go on short wave all that Lucy had. About third, three or four weeks. This person, about the second week, I think, I thought it was right. It was wrong. I made a mistake. A big one. I was in big trouble on the 4th of April. I was on the floor on a Saturday afternoon. Read about it. On the 6th, I was scheduled to go on all short way. I committed it. It was a mistake. I was wrong. I was pushed by sin to do it. My problem, not yours. On the morning of the 5th, the Sunday morning, I woke up, you could hear about it. God told me I was a fool. I knew it. Then he showed me what was going on. Sin, thank you, against me from God's people had my intellect greatly troubled. My heart was in anguish. My soul was vexed. Unreal. But God showed me what I need to do. First Peter 5, God grants grace to the humble and resists the proud. Humble myself, therefore, under the hand of Almighty God, who will exalt me in due time, casting all my cares upon the Lord. For he cared for me. That's what I did. Two or three days. Then on the ninth, I saw that I was not taking pleasure in insults. I had to change. Praying, God grants grace to them. Oh, thank God. I went through. Thank God by now. I'm trying to see. What I do next? What I do next? I'm beginning to cancel a short wave. I said, I'm wrong. On the 14th, God showed me a very important thing, sin against me. 14th April, things begin to look up. They've been changing ever since. Thank God, what a blessing. What a blessing to be overcoming. Yesterday, I thought, you know, I think I've entered into God's rest. Then, sitting, I thought, Lord God, as Job 
saw, heard about you with his ears. I see you with my eyes. Had you not been with me, there would not be one way I could have survived. My ministry would have gone down. Yes, I was that close. Wickedness against me. But I began to come across, overcome. I'm getting better. I'm much better. I'm stronger. I'm standing up against wicked spirits. Remain, pride, arrogance, deception, you name it. But I'm getting there. I'm feeling better. Terry Brown is coming, if you're not already here. And she's going to do a song. One that you all have heard, how much it ministered to me in the mid-90s. Thank God. Terry Brown got on the mountain. Terry? Life is easy when you're up on the mountain and you've got peace like you've never known But then things change And you're down in the valley Don't lose faith For you're never alone For the God on Down in the valley of trials and temptation, that's when your faith is really put to the test. For the God on the mountain, He's still God in the valley. When things go Talk of faith when you're up on your mountain and your talk comes so easy. Life's at its best, but it's down in that valley of trials and temptation. That's when your faith is really put to the test for the God on the Yeah. 
God of the day is still God in the night. Oh, the God of your day, He's still God in your night. Even though things started changing, on April 14th, I found myself with a heart full of anguish, a heart full of sorrow. It was sickening. My soul was vexed greatly with what I saw and what I heard as Lot was when God delivered him from Sodom and Gomorrah. But I fought on. I could not give up. I knew God was with me. I want you to know, folks, I'm not on top of the mountain, and I am not at the bottom. I'm coming through. Things are changing, and I'm grateful. I'm happy. Thank God. But I want to give you a chance to be born again, to receive Jesus. Just call on his name. Jesus, 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 Jesus. God bless. We invite you to visit Water of Life Church at 1621 18th Street in Plano, Texas. Or for further information, call area code 972-578-8082. That's 972-578-8082. Or write Doyle Davidson, Post Office Box 861327, Plano, Texas 75086. That's Doyle Davidson, Post Office Box 861327, Plano, Texas 75086. This program was paid for by Water of Life Church.